Hi guys, here is the second part of the video from my Chadar Trek. This was organized by Burn Boundaries. If you have not watched the first part of the video, please watch and then come back to this video. I will take you through what we did on a daily basis from start till the end of the trek. Uh, for starters, uh, you will have to fly in to lay in, in the winters and the view from the flight is really mesmerizing. Uh, these pictures do not do justice to what your eyes will see. The moment you land, you may feel a little light in the head due to change in the altitude which is, which is quite common and you will feel normal after a short while unless you start jumping around. Okay, moving on. On the first day, we checked into the designated hotel organized by Burn Boundaries. We met all the trekkers. We had approximately three hours of briefing session on what to expect from the trek, like how to use the trekking pole, how to walk on the slippery ice, how to fall and how not to fall. And also at night, we got a chance to stargaze. That was pretty much the end of day one. Day two was uh, the start of our trek and reaching the base was the primary agenda of the entire day. On the way we stopped at a Gurudwara and took the blessings and then uh, we witnessed the phenomenon of uh, the magnetic hill which pulled our mini bus uphill. So the uphill is only about 15 to 20 meter, meters and the mini bus got pulled uphill which was a little crazy. After we reached the base that is Tilak Sumdo, we got a little time for putting all the lessons to practice. So we tried walking on the ice. Uh, for a short while, uh, we, we thought it's going to be like a cakewalk for the entire duration. Now that was a bad joke we pulled on ourselves. In the next six days, we learn, learned how slippery each other would be. At night, we again tried uh, stargazing, so I did a time lapse and this time with very less interference of other light source. This was pretty much end of day two or at least is what we thought. However, none of us got decent sleep that night. It was the first time uh, we were sleeping in a tent, in a sleeping bag and probably it was around minus 20 but it felt the coldest night of our entire trek. Moving on to day 3 which was the actual start of our trek or walk on Chadha. Uh, the moment we started we were pretty much in for a surprise. Uh, the route we, we took the previous evening to practice the walk on Chadha was already broken. And this is when we learned that Chadha pretty much changes every other day. Day 4, we walked from Shingra Yokma to Tib, which was around 12 kilometers. And since we were a little comfortable, we covered this distance in about 4 hours. I know, man. Ah, six days he was under ice. Yeah. And he was alive. Yes. What might be the motivation of that guy? I know. I just can't imagine all that. Yeah. How much they sacrifice for our safety? Exactly. And what yeah. do we do? Pretty much the same thoughts carried for the rest of the day for all of us. Moving on to day number five which was the day we would reach our destination, Neira Falls. We started at 7 a.m. We covered nine kilometers in two and a half hours, where we left all of our backpacks at, at Yokma Dho and walked for another two and a half hours, where we covered nine kilometers and reached Neira Falls. We reached, had lunch just before the falls, we had to hike a hill which was uh, slightly difficult but the hike gave the great view of the Nairak mountain and the Himalayan ranges. And finally we reached the, the, the waterfall, we goofed around 
a little bit got some pictures and before long we remembered our two and a half hours walk back to our campsite so we started our walk back from Nerak by 3 p.m. and uh, we we reached our campsite by by 6 p.m. so on this day we covered 27 kilometers which was pretty much the hardest I have pushed myself so far moving on uh, Normally, we would wake up by 6 a.m., breakfast by 6.30 and, and get on the move by around 7 a.m. But after accomplishing our goals, we gave ourselves an extra hour. Well, we deserved a relaxed day. So, uh, we walked to Tib, which was around 9 kilometers, and we covered it at a very slow pace. We played a lot of activities, had a lot of fun. We had people sitting, lying down on the sledge. We carried them around. And uh, we also played uh, ice bowling. And, uh, and it was a lot of fun. Practicing a lot, man. Come on. Moving on to day 7, which was the second most difficult day as we covered 20 kilometers to reach Shingra Koma, but we covered this conveniently since it was the 26th of January. Throughout the trek, we heard the national anthem, we heard uh, patriotic songs everywhere, and several of them were even hoisting the Indian flag. It was a very productive day and we covered a distance of 20 kilometers in close to four, four, four and a half hours. And by now we were only five kilometers away from the base and most of us were eagerly waiting to get back to the hotel only to have a shower. However, we camped here one last night. On the last day out of nowhere, as I was walking, I slipped and I fell. Yeah, perfectly fine. Is it recording? Huh? Recording? No. Uh, yeah, ah, recording. yes! <laughs> and by the way, taking a dip in the freezing cold river marked the conclusion of our trek. <laughs> 